Well, sometimes the political uh, the political opinions and also engagements are also responsible. Now, let me just say one thing. Even when we came and we realized that what was really very prevalent was the Boko Haram issue and the and the issue of the Hesman farmers. That was why the, the national livestock uh, policy was introduced. But when we got to the to the to, to the period of implementation. There were a lot of problems here and there from even all the some of the some regions of, 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 of the nation. Some will say, no, we don't want anything uh, national livestock. We don't want anything ranching we, we, because we don't have the land. Surprisingly, I've seen people come out today to say, ah, we started ranching. We said, said at that time, if that for me, the policy was well implemented at that time, today we would not have been talking about Hesman farmers crisis because that policy was well drafted. Now people don't even care about reading it. By the time the word ranching was mentioned, by the time the word grazing is mentioned anywhere, people believe that, no, 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 this belongs to a particular ethnic group. So we don't even want to read what is contained in the, in the policy to even talk about as accepting it to be implemented in our various states. Now today, you can see the menace is everywhere. I was part of those who sat down to even look at the livestock uh, policy. A lady from Kenya, she's now being appointed at the UN, drafted this, uh, drafted the herbos, drafted this policy because she engaged us in Plateau State in addressing the issue of headsmen farmers. Today, we don't have much of this in the state. And through that policy, and with the committee under the, His Excellency, the Vice, the, the Vice President, we said this is what will help, will, will help. And that document, was produced not during uh, was not produced during uh, Buhari's, uh, President Buhari's regime. That document first came up uh, during President Jonathan's regime, and chaired by former Governor Benway State, with all other uh, representatives from the zones to address the issue of farmers' headmen. And so the same document was transferred to a new committee under the Vice President Professor Osimbajo, Professor Osimbajo. Now, even looking at it, people will say no, because he talks about uh, cows, he talks about this, he talks about cattle colony, he talks about all other things. And it was jettisoned. Now, the policy is still there. Why don't we go back and look at it to address this issue? Because it was specifically not only about grazing, it was to assist the farmers, uh, uh, the headsmen farmers conflict, and also empowering the farmers as well as empowering uh, the headsmen to be to be kept in one place in the process of implementation. But, but uh, politics came in. Today, we are now going back to the same national livestock uh, policy. If we had done that three or four years ago. So, you know, in a political dispensation, sometimes it's not easy introducing and implementing a policy. Because by the time you move one step, you are also battling with National Assembly. You are battling with another uh, another part of this uh, of the country that will tell you no. Even though we understand, we will not want to accept. We will not want to accept this this issue. So the complications are always there. And part of it, we introduced and said they should take out one million dollars from the excess group, the one portion that belongs to the the. The, the the state the, the state governments for the purpose of buying equipment up to this moment that was why we also asked the question what has happened to uh, what has happened to the one billion so what where are where are the equipment so on the one side you know security is controlled by federal government that's why I said when I say blame I also blame Ben, uh, take, the, take the blame because this is our government. I'm not one of those that will say because there's a blame some, somewhere. I say, no, I don't belong to this government. I am part of this government. I also take the fall if there is a fall of the, uh, from this government.